Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Yes, we're back uh, with our beavers. Uh, there's just one here. Ah, yes, we, we are way up here in the back corner uh, and clearing a path, and this beaver is hard at work. So let's dive right into this episode and get into continuing building the colony of Beaver Town. So what we're going to do is to make sure that we don't lose this path we've been working on, or I should say this lone beaver has been hard at work on. We're just going to connect that here for now. Now, we're not going to actually do the full connection because we can't uh, because uh, well, I guess actually we could, right? We don't have a new district yet, so we can do that. Now, the other thing, while they're hard at work here, I do want to put the cut command in. I do now want to add in these trees to remove for some uh, future expansion. Now, speaking of expansion, uh, up here at Hilltop, uh, sorry, Metallica, we are going to come in and we are going to remove just the uh, path here. And we're going to put a staircase for some future connectivity. Uh, and we could... Actually, at the moment, we don't need to worry about any uh, need for a gate, but let's just do that now for a uh, connection. So that's going to help. Now, down here, we do have a couple of explosives we can set off, but we'll wait on that. And let's also continue uh, building up this area here as well. So we're going to come in. Now, this is District 7. Uh, we're going to get up one more level and we're going to put a, for now, a platform and a staircase. The other thing we're going to do while we're down here is we are going to build this area up as well. And that's going to be a good start. Now, I think the other thing I, I'm going to want to do too, let's put a single brick here as well, or uh, a train block. Now, speaking of train blocks, there's obviously a lot to build here yet, but we do have uh, some problems, and that problem is dirt. So the dirt excavator is hard at work. We do have two piles that are basically empty, and we've got two full ones that uh, we are relying upon the carriers to, from this distribution post, to bring them over here. But why don't we make this easier on everybody? So the first one is easier. We're just going to remove this path here, come in, and we're just going to extend this path network around. So now this dirt pile is part of District 7. Now this dirt pile is going to require just a tad more effort. So let's come in and we are going to have to temporarily uh, disconnect power. So we're going to remove these three pieces here, come in and grab platform, platform, and now with power, we'll come in with a high power shaft and just two straight shafts and connect. And let's get this going on a priority basis. Uh, let's make sure it's all on a priority basis. There we go. Next thing is we're gonna come in and we are going to disconnect here. And now we can come in and put a road underneath uh, this platform and there we go. So now, although this isn't working, uh, this dirt is now part of District 7, where, funny enough, uh, the actual dirt excavator is located. And of course, these golems, hard at work uh, putting all those train blocks in. Now, the other thing is, uh, I think I realized this at the end of last episode, we don't need these uh, dams up at this level yet. So we're gonna remove those, remove those blocks, Come in, and we're gonna put a couple dams in. And while we're over here, why don't we clean this area up just a tad? Remove those blocks, because they can't reach. Remove those as that path as well. And now we come in and put a train block here. Now once those are built, uh, I think we're gonna have to remove uh, this staircase so they can get this one lone block in. But over here, why don't we just get uh, that block put in? 
And I, and I think that will work out. And then actually, once that block is in, this staircase doesn't have too much of a value. Actually, let's pause that just in case. And we'll prioritize all those train blocks out of this build. Ooh, speaking of prioritize, let's prioritize some speed. I feel the need for speed. Actually, speaking of speed, those beavers were awfully speedy. Uh, getting this area all nice and built up. Now, one of the other things is, uh, like last episode, we did build this Lido. These beavers are loving it. Uh, the rest of the colony is kind of jealous of the cool, chill area over in Gullum. Which we might need to add some more housing as well. So why don't we why don't we do that while we're yeah, let's let's put some housing in. So we've got this area over here. Why don't we build a small nested community as well? So come into housing. We can put a triple lodge. And I think we can squeeze in a double lodge. Then why don't we put some warehouses down here as well. Then what we can do... Hmm, how do we want to make this work? We can now... Oh, okay. That's going to be a tight squeeze. Okay. We'll make this work. I want to make this work. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to just run a path along here. We can then put a staircase. Why don't we put a staircase right here? Just so that we can run a nice little path along here. We do need to make sure all this gets connected so we can connect it out like this. And then on top, we can come into our decorations and we can put in some roofs but down here. Actually, we can come in and I think we can put a well, let's 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 make this kind of balance out. Beaver statue, beaver statue. And then here from a well-being point of view, we can come in and we can have some shrines. And then as well from a decoration, we come back to we can put a couple plants. Like that, that's gonna look good. And that should keep this area going. Speaking of going, um, we need to reduce this floodgate here. Keep all this open though. I think we probably need to lower this down to have some water continue to come into here. Okay, so we haven't got to any more Lido's yet, but while we're over here in Hilltop, we're gonna come in. And we're going to put a staircase right here. And we are going to prioritize all of this work. There we go. The other thing I want to do, I want to come in and I want to pause all of these water wheels because I don't want them accidentally built and blocking space off. We're also going to prioritize. Oh, not those. We're gonna have to come in and unprioritize the shafts. So we're gonna make those actually a low priority. We basically almost don't want them built, at least for now. The other thing while we're over here, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting for this tree. So we're just gonna remove this tree. Uh, and we do want to connect the power. Put that in like this. Now, the other thing is, I don't think they can reach. Yeah, so we're going to put in a path. 
having. So that should get them to reach all the way across. So that should put us in a good position. So now as we're talking about, uh, I do want to put some more Leto's in. So Metallica, which is a very hard working, hard charging area. Ooh, that actually needs some water up in the pond area. This area as well needs some water. So why don't we add, open these floodgates. So while that's going on, So we don't have a consistent flow of water in here, but what I am thinking is while we're getting, actually, while I'm thinking, let's, okay, pause, see where we're getting flooding. Good thing I didn't stay away too long from this area because there goes the flood. So it won't be too bad, that'll dry up pretty quick. Not a problem, not worried at all. So while we're working over here in Metallica, Water start flowing through here. I'm gonna come in and we are gonna put in some levees. Uh, uh, for Alito, we need four blocks. There we go. And you can see how I'm gonna get cheeky with this because from time to time, the water's just gonna flow over the Lido while this area is filling up. So, being a little cheeky. Now, but let's not, let's not leave it there. Let's come into our decorations. Uh, we're gonna put some benches right here. Come in here. We do need to make sure we connect the path. Come into well-being as well. Let's put in a shrine. I think what we can do as well, put a shrine over here. Oh, no, not there. What are you doing, Sargon? What are you doing? Eject, eject. Oh, no, that's fine. Sorry. Angle got me a little confused. So we're going to put a shrine here. And then we can connect road there. And then we will come back into our decorations. And for now, we'll put in uh, some benches. Or so not some benches, some shrubs. And in fact, there's gonna put three shrubs there. We're gonna pause these so they can all get built. So there'll be some shrubs just on top. Occasionally these things will fall in and out of flooding. Uh, speaking of flooding, oh my goodness. Got very distracted, so let's solve this. Um, yes, yeah, you know, this is weird. Um, who knew uh, this area could flood? Uh, shocked as you are. I am shocked. Terribly, terribly shocked that this area could get flooded. So, but as you can see, we caught it just, just in time. Uh, oh, this, this marker is built. Yeah. Highest water level three, current 2.97. Yeah, I really wish there could be a way to have you know use these to automate your floodgates yeah let's raise these back up so that's fine it's all good now let's raise this floodgate back up so this basin can fill back in fill that up here there we go It's all working. It's all good now, except this building. We do need to connect and completely miss this. The benches to uh, some pathing. And there we go. So some busy little beavers and my guess is, yeah, they're like, OK, that Lido, we want the Lido. Build the Lido. Why isn't the Lido built? So that is well underway. Now, I think the other thing while we're over here in Metallica, we do have some vacancies. We do have some kits growing up, but it is really tight from, a, you know, just going through the various waves. So let's build another small home here. 
we can put a platform, but we're actually gonna pause that for a second because what I wanna do from a decoration point of view is we're gonna just put a number of those there and we can put one house. We do need a staircase and a path. So that will help with some employment here. We have five kits growing up, one bed, so we just added three. So we should be in the okay range. Actually, now one other thing I want to do is we will put a another platform there just uh, so that we can start using this. Actually, we already can reach this area, but just in case we actually uh, want some more connectivity, I think that's a good thing. So once these are built, we can then get uh, the housing built. I'm not sure. I can't recall if they can reach one up, but we'll find out. Nothing to do. Oh, oh even worse. Golem is out of fuel. Uh, dude. Dude. Go back, get fuel. Because uh, if we look, we have plenty of biofuel in, in this district, so not exactly sure what their uh, their problem is. Now, actually, let's delete. We don't need any food coming over right now into District 7. I think we could probably turn off the, the logs, the resin planks. And for now, I think the metal blocks and gears were probably fine. Let's look at our distribution limits. So the biofuel will keep to 50. The carrots, dirt. In fact, that dirt should go away. Real potatoes, we'll set that to 10. Logs, set to 20. Planks, 20. Water, 20. Treated planks, 10. That should be fine. And there's nothing to do in range, okay. So that means we are good to go with getting our new district center built up here. So we get that built where we want it. I guess we'll put it here. We are gonna have to disconnect some things, but let's come in and let's get first off where we're in labor, some drop off points. And if need be, we can have maybe just a little path. Now, the other thing, uh, before we completely forget, the reason why we're up here is we want to build, sorry, blow a hole in here, have water come in and start filling up this entire area. Now, to make that work, we are going to need to put in a floodgate. It's coming to landscaping. We will put in a triple floodgate right here. And what they're probably going to have to do is come on down using a staircase system. So I think we need a two. Two high, yeah. And then a one high platform. And then we're going to go staircase, staircase, staircase. Come on down. And there we go. Now, I think to help things out, why don't we come into actual storage and we will also put a log pile in. Why don't we put that right here? And then I think the other thing we can do, so let's come into uh, wood. We're gonna put a lumberjack flag here. 
for the future, but what we really need to do is we can just start doing the cut command. You can just go, 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 cut, cut, cut. It's all good. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We don't want them to reallocate logs, so set that to none. That's extremely important. Now, we're going to send golems up here. So what we're going to start with is coming back to uh, the golem district. We're going to add a route in, sending up to our new district up here. We're just going to send up some biofuel for now. Uh, let's send some distribution limits. Oh, OK, we're going to have to. I think what we're going to do now, let's get dangerous. I mean, let's get uh, connecting and creating the new district. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move stuff here. We're going to put district gates there and there. And now come up here and connect this path. So we're pretty good. So let's uh, come back to where we were here with this. And we're going to set the biofuel to half of what, or 50, I should say, not half of what we can actually store here. But for now, that's what we'll get going. But we need to get some golems. So the easiest way, let's rename this, uh, call it Overlook. So that's one of the higher points. So let's come here, uh, not from District 7, but from Gollum. Let's send over two Gollums. Get this built. This can be a Gollum once we can employ. Same thing here. And there we go, I'll send a Gollum's coming over. Hard at work. Perfect. Now maybe the other thing we need to do is we need to make sure we are ready uh, to blow some, I mean, use some landscaping. So we have over here in Beaver Town. Let's find something. Uh, we can send up a route. And we are going to send some explosives up to Overlook. And as well, Let's reset up a explosives route to here because we could use some more. Look at these distribution limits. So in Metallica, I'm gonna request 10. Oh, we can unpause that. And then here, we will set this to 15. There we go. Oh, we have a building locking some power. Oh, yes, uh, we do need, I forgot about this, come in and get power back to our carousel. So I think the best way to do that is we are going to put a platform here. And then we're just gonna set up a set of staircases and why don't we as well take the opportunity to come in and put a beaver right here. And then once that is built, this is built, we can uh, maybe put a plant and then just back ourselves away. Yeah. So hopefully that doesn't take too long. So that's good news. We'll get that power fixed. Glad I caught that. So things are moving right along. Why don't we come back up to our build up here, see how things are going. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Why don't we take also the opportunity? Let's just fill this area in as well. And we need to have a look-see. OK, let's have a bit of a look-see come into our power because our goal is to add in some more gravity batteries. Don't worry, we'll get you up there so but we can place you for now. 
So we think we need another one here. So why don't we come into landscaping? We'll just build this area up. Now we can put another gravity battery. Same thing here. Why don't we build this area up? Oh, too, too high. All right, well, let's get, well, where is it? What's going on? Oh, it's just the way it looks. Okay, so we do want to get rid of that. And then we come back into our power. And then what we're going to do Yeah, let's then come in This is going to be a little f fun to figure out of how we're going to make this exactly work. Oh, I know. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll put that this high, build this here, and I, you know, you'll, you'll see. You'll see there's a method to this very bad madness that we have, but don't worry about it. It's all fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Now, what we do have to worry about is we have no resin here in Metallica. And I thought we had built a tapper shack and we did. Let's prioritize that. Um, go get some pine for now. So that will be good. We can unpause that part of the build. In fact, we'll just do it like this. That should hopefully work in proper order. Although it looks like they can reach from the bottom. So we really had nothing to worry about. We would have been fine. So, okay, we're fine now. A little bit of rooftop garden work going on there. It's gonna look pretty, very pretty, very practical. So we zoom back in. Things are going well. Got our temple going up here. Everybody's happy. Oh, you know who's not happy? These folks, They're, we're, we're pumping this area dry. Keep an eye on this, but yeah, this area is almost dry. In fact, these guys were sucking air here. Not good, not good at all. In fact, so are these guys. These guys can only go down to. This is, these aren't the uh, iron teeth, so. We are almost out of water here. That would have been extremely atrocious so that's coming in we'll be fine now what's not fine is this has not yet been connected but i think i know what the problem is i think yeah we forgot to put the cut command on uh these trees here so let's get all that all good and actually, that's paused. We actually do want a beaver here. So let's prioritize this and let's get a beaver over here. Also unpause that. Get the beavers. Go, go, go. Need the wood. So they're doing their thing. They're connecting everything. Water flowing through here. Everything looks like it's connected. Definitely low on trees, though. Do we have, yeah, this guy should be able to reach, yeah. Oh, but we don't have a cut command on. Why don't we? Okay, we need. Put a cut command on all these trees. Can he get up there? So the answer to that is no. No. 
What madness did I have where I mucked that up? You know what we could do to make this work? Is let's come in with uh, some landscaping right here. Blow that up, put a staircase, and then this guy can hop up and grab all that lumber. Which I think is more needed in Hilltop than Metallica, for sure. Definitely think that is the uh, priority. Oh, that's already almost built. Did I miss one? Or it's just not built yet. Just not built yet. So that's coming along. Oh my goodness. This is just coming right along pretty darn fast. Got a bunch of beavers dying of old age. It's probably contributing to our worker problem. Oh, speaking of problems, we have a power problem. So we'll come in with a high power shaft. We'll just place that there. Set that on a priority as well. So that is good. Now I do think I need to bring another platform and come in with another staircase. I think we can just do that here. Yeah, we need to remove that staircase. Remove this here. And we are going to, I think, just fill this in and make it easy on ourselves. This will then come here. Well, we'll have a look. I think I need to, I can't remember if these go up too high or not. But this is the plan. That's the method to the madness there uh, to connect these gravity batteries together. And then from here, I think what we need to do is, oh, which they won't be able to reach. So I think we're gonna have to do a temporary staircase down. Actually, we're gonna delete this. We're going to prioritize this, high priority. Then we can come back in with, yeah, high power shaft. Put one there while I'm thinking of it. Because then what we can do is this. And we're going to use dirt because we have it. Uh, and then what we can do and I still might need a staircase oh we got some flooded buildings what's going on here oh oh my goodness okay raise that back up ay caramba that's some flooding that is some flooding now, I might need to get myself a headset because I actually don't listen to the sound as I play, so it doesn't come in through my microphone, but hmm. Okay, well, we're just gonna kind of ignore that, blow some stuff up, and let's put in a staircase. And then we'll make sure these trees, yep, they're on a cut command, it's all good. Things are going better. That is much better. As you can see, as how fast those logs are coming in and out, it's almost like we should send some from Metallica over. Ay caramba. Why don't we do that? Uh, we've got room for routes. Why don't we send some logs over? Why not? I think that would be a helpful thing. So where are we uh, lacking some workers? We have 61 workers in Hilltop, uh, two free beds, 
one vacancy, three incapacitated. So we're at a pretty tight margin. 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 So I think we'll come back and we're going to unpause. Unpause, please. What have I paused? What is paused here? The this is paused. Let's unpause that. These need to get built. That should be good. So what that's going to do, oh, start of a drought. Um, panic, well, we don't really need to panic. We should be fine. How are we fine down here? Yeah, we're fine. Fine. Having water come through there is good. I think what we'll do is we will close that one. And as well, we can close up this floodgate. Okay, some things got built that I didn't want to get built. Um, they can't reach this. Spot F. If we were to delete this unbuilt water wheel and come down with a temporary staircase. And then since these are all built, we can come in, connect all those, connect this. Ooh, this is all done. So why don't we come in Come in. Oh, come on, just this path here. And let's go high priority. Second high priority, normal priority, low priority. See how that works. So that should keep those beavers uh, really busy. Where else are we lacking workers? Oh my goodness, Beaver Town doesn't even have a healer. That isn't good news. And in Beaver Town, we have six vacancies, five free beds. So actually, I think we're probably fine in Beaver Town. So half of our beavers of vacancies will resolve itself pretty quick, I think. Metallica is the other area. We have four vacancies, three to grow up. No room at the end. Uh, so this loan building did not really help. So why don't we take the opportunity to come in. We're just going to disconnect this here. We'll move the path down. And why don't we come in and put some housing here as well. And then we'll put a decoration on top. And why don't we put a beaver overlooking that? I kind of like that. Let's do that. And we will put some decorations, but why don't we come in and put a shrine as well. And then we can put a bench as well. There we go. That should solve that problem, right? So we're just going, oh, building needs water. Oh, okay. Panicked, panicked, we're fine. It's all fine. But what we can end up doing is if we let this water out, kind of back it up to this area. This one it turns all of this area green. And we might rethink of just flooding this area to get at least more consistent high water level. Something to think about, which means we'd have to adjust these floodgates. But we're not totally desperate for trees. Not totally. Okay. 
So as you can see, that's letting some water through. And actually, really the perfect amount. So we'll undo this. Everybody's loving this area. So I think that's good. I think we are doing uh, quite well. Let's raise that back up to two and a half. I think it's just some temporary flooding. Yeah, that's fine. That's nothing. That is nothing. We're all good with that. Now, soon this area will be all nice and built up. Just waiting for a few. Oh, maybe we do need to send some logs. You know what we can do? Hang on. Let's just... Let's be smart with our resources. We'll build this. Lumberjack. Come in. And we'll just put a cut order on all the trees in this area. Prior priority. Put that as a... Sorry, excuse me. Golem. We're all good. Watered a little low. Oh, that's just a tad. That's a bridge too far for everybody. So why don't we, while we're thinking of that, we'll put a little platform here. Run a road right down. Hopefully that gives us the connection. The other thing we could do if that doesn't work, we'll get rid of this tree and that should shorten the connection up so we can put a path right there. So things are looking good. Um, yeah, some minor flooding. That's going to go away. Not a big deal. But we got another Lido built. Nice little cool, chill little area. Loving it. We've got this area started. So why don't we also, before we forget, we're just going to put a big cut command on here as well. Clean this area up. And we probably have some explosives, but we need to get down there, get things set up for next episode as well. Let's just put a staircase coming on down. So looking good. Things are busy. Things are in progress. Things look out of sh <laughs> look odd now that I see levees as opposed to just pure uh, dirt, but it's coming along. And I think the last thing we might need to do, and I feel like Colombo for those that are familiar with that. Uh, just one more thing before I go. Um, oh, I guess we'll do two more things. So the first thing is, I don't think we have any uh, logs or planks coming over. I think I cut off those distributions. Yes. Well, we have, we have planks. We got plenty of planks, but no logs. So let's... Actually, we're going to get some logs from this. So we'll be fine because we need, we need a few logs for this. I'm actually surprised they haven't started delivering any planks up. That's a little odd because we've got 100 planks. Plenty of planks. You need no more planks. So the last thing. Oh, it resolved itself. The uh, power issue. We're good. So I think with that, we're going to leave things here in Beavertown. I would like to thank you for joining me again. Uh, very much appreciate all your support and all those that are following the uh, Beaver Town series. So with that, we'll say goodbye and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.